In this video, I'm going to help you learn American English pronunciation the native way. But a few notes before we begin. Understand that you will hear various accents and intonations from different American English speakers in everyday life. So, this video will cover the standard American English you'd most commonly hear on the news, in most TV shows and movies, and in conversations. Next, the rules of pronunciation work about 80% of the time. So, learning the rules is very helpful, but be prepared for irregular sounds and spellings. Finally, I won't cover every rule or teach all 44 sounds of English, because these aren't necessary for you to understand the more important idea of how to develop pronunciation like a native. On to the lesson. I'll begin by explaining how natives learn to read, spell, and pronounce words, so you can learn to sound like a native. Then, as we go through some of the progression natives use to learn these sounds, I'll share a few rules to help make correct spelling and pronunciation easier for you. Does that sound good? Now, what you'll see in most pronunciation training videos here on YouTube are lists of sounds followed by a few words they appear in. Unfortunately, this is a common mistake made by both pronunciation trainers and teachers of reading that makes it more difficult to understand why certain letter combinations make certain sounds. Here's an example from a video I found teaching the s sound. Sun, circle, pace, course. See how this method teaches you the pronunciations of a few random words, but doesn't teach you the rules behind these pronunciations so you can easily say other words. It doesn't even explain why one of the C's in circle makes the soft s sound, while the other makes the hard k sound. Circle. The rule is usually that when C comes before I, it's soft, as in city, citrus, and circus. C is usually also soft before E, which is why you have the s sound in pace. The truth is you don't develop strong listening skills or native pronunciation by learning like this. You develop these communication skills by learning how sounds fit together in a complete system. So let me show you this in more detail by sharing the three things you need to learn pronunciation like a native. First, you need contrast. Your brain learns best when it can compare related sounds rather than hearing them isolated or in random words. You don't want to learn like this. P, pig, park, paper, rapport. You want to learn like this. Short vowels. Bat, bet, bit, bot, but. Listen again. Bat, bet, bit, bot, but. Your brain can now easily compare these different sounds and understand them without being confused by other sound combinations in words. Only the sound you want to practice changes. That's contrast. Now, the next thing you need besides contrast is control. Your brain has questions as soon as it connects letter combinations with sounds. What happens if you change a letter or add or remove a letter? So you need a way to control the letter combinations yourself, rather than just seeing them in a video. I'll explain how you can do this in just a minute, but before that, the final thing you need to learn pronunciation like a native is instant feedback. If you have to wait too long between sounds you're listening to, it becomes harder for your brain to hear how they're different. So hearing the differences between sounds or words as fast as possible is essential to developing your listening and pronunciation the native way. Listen to the difference between the short a a sound and the short u a sound. Cat cut. 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 When you hear words correctly, you can pronounce them correctly. If you're getting this and you're feeling more confident about these words, be sure to subscribe for more and click on the bell icon so you're notified about new videos. 
So how can you control what sounds you hear so you can compare sounds instantly? Well, very soon we'll be releasing our first-of-its-kind mobile app that anyone can use to develop their reading, spelling, and pronunciation skills. Cat. Cap. Can. Cam. See how you can compare sounds as fast as possible to train your ears and develop your pronunciation? This new app is called Frederick. And if you'd like to be among the first to use it to sound more like a native as fast as possible, click on the link in the upper right of this video or on the link in the description below this video. Now let's continue with the progression natives use to learn reading, spelling, and pronunciation. Remember how I said that the rules of pronunciation work about 80% of the time? These are the phonetic rules of English, also called phonics. Native English speakers learn these rules and additional words that break the rules, known as sight words. We say sight because you remember them by seeing them, rather than by decoding their sounds. A word with clear phonetic rules, for example, is thank. Th-a-nk. Thank. But the is a sight word that would be incorrect if you tried using phonics to pronounce it. We don't say th, e, fe. We say the. But natives hear and see this word so often that they learn to pronounce it the right way automatically. And so can you. Sight words are also covered in Frederick, so I won't take time teaching a bunch of them here. But I will go through the basic progression for the first few levels of phonics instruction so you understand how to develop pronunciation the native way. We'll begin with the short vowels and consonants. The five vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. And these all have short sounds like this. A, E, I, A, U. Listen again. Bat, bet, bit, bot, but. The consonants are the other 21 letters of the alphabet the Y can make vowel and consonant sounds. You will hear some nonsense words in the following examples, like dat, but these are important to learn as they often become pieces of longer words. For all of the following examples, if you don't see a picture, it means it's not a real word. B, bat, k, cat, d, dat, Fat, g, gat, h, hat, j, jet, l, let, m, met, n, net, p, pet, k, ket, r, rat, s, sat, t, tat, v, vat. W, wet, x, tex, y, yet, z, zet. Next, we begin blending two and three letters together. Their sounds don't change, but they are said faster. Cl, clab, cur, crab, dur, drab, full, flab. Gull, glab, gur, grab, pull, plab, sk, scab, sl, slab, sn, snab, st, stab, tur, trab, ft, deft, mp, demp, nt, dent. Sk, desk, skur, scrap, spull, splap, spur, sprap, stir, strap. Next, we move to letter combinations with new sounds. Ch, chip, sh, ship, th, fip, w, whip. Duck, ch, dutch, 
Next, NG and NK. Nk, dank, dank, dink, donk, dunk. Mm, dang, dang, ding, dong, dung. Next are combinations of short vowels with the letter L. All, bald, L, belled, ill, build, ull, bold, all, ball. O-L, like in bold, has a long O sound. Gold, hold, mold, sold. Ull, bangle, dangle, fangle, tangle. The final phonetic point we'll look at today is known by names like magic E and silent E, because the final E is silent. The magic part is that adding the E changes the pronunciation of letters E doesn't touch. Here again we want to contrast sounds, so you can hear how all of the letters sound when the final E is present or not. Back, bass. Back, bass. Notice how the final E changes the other vowel from the short sound to the long sound. Back, bass, back, bass, back, bass. The C also becomes soft before the E, which is why the hard C sound K from back becomes the soft C sound S of bass. We covered this earlier in the video. Here are some more examples. Fac, face, mac, mace, pack, pace, rack, race. See how it's the contrast that makes it easier to understand? Unlike the typical random examples shown at the beginning of this video? Let's look at some more magic E. Notice the pattern. Bic. Bice, mick, mice, lick, lice, rick, rice, bod, bode, mod, mode, pod, pode, rod, road. Again, we designed Frederick to make these kinds of contrasts incredibly fast and easy for pronunciation practice. Race. Rack. Rad. And you can go from individual sounds up to full blended sentences all in the same app. So be sure to click on the link in the upper right to learn more about having this complete system to practice with whenever you like. It's like having a native speaker in your pocket wherever you go. Well, there's a lot more to learn, but I hope you now understand how you can develop the listening and pronunciation skills of a native speaker if you just learn the right way. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with two more people who also want to improve their pronunciation. I'm Drew Badger, the founder of EnglishAnyone.com, and thanks so much for joining me today. To learn hundreds more great ways to sound more native, improve your speaking confidence, and develop fluency faster, just do these three simple things right now. 1. Click on this link to subscribe to my YouTube channel for over 500 free videos. 2. Click on this link to download my number one ebook guide to fast fluency free. And 3. Click here to watch the most popular video on English fluency here on YouTube.